We're gonna make the world's largest sushi roll. And it all starts with a lot of ingredients. 2,000 pounds of well-seasoned sushi rice, 500 pounds of sushi-grade salmon, 500 pounds of fresh cucumbers, thousands and thousands of sheets of nori, and millions of sesame seeds. Here's me for scale. This roll will weigh the same as 45,000 regular sushi rolls. Go subscribe so we can catch Gordon. And real quick, if you won't subscribe for Gordon, when we hit 10 million, I'm gonna pick three random subscribers to break a Guinness World Record with me. You could be on the title, so go subscribe. Together, we hold three world record titles. The world's largest cake pop, which weighed about 100 pounds. The world's largest chicken nugget, which made international headlines but failed to impress Jimmy Fallon. They made a chicken cake. Yeah, they made a chicken. And the most fast food restaurants visited in 24 hours. We visited 69. Today, we're attempting our most difficult record yet, the world's largest sushi roll. We'll be judged today by none other than Andy, who did our fast food record with us. And we also have Dennis, a health inspector who's gonna make sure we follow those strict Guinness food safety protocols. Before we begin, there are a few safety rules from Guinness. The record is for the largest sushi roll slice in terms of diameter at the widest point. The sushi roll slice must be roughly circular, and the roll must include cold vinegar dressed rice, nori seaweed sheets, and at least two different fillings. Now it's time to break another record. And to begin, we already have all our ingredients laid out, but there's just one problem. We have lots and lots of salmon, and these babies aren't gonna fillet themselves. And that's why we're gonna warm up for today's record with another record attempt. The fastest time to fillet a 10 pound fish. And here's the best part. Guess who the current record holder is? That Gordon. None other than the king of all food himself, Gordon Ramsay. Gordon, you better watch out. Nick knows how to fillet a fish. You rarely see people attempt two records in one day. Full movement. The current record to beat is indeed set by Gordon Ramsay at one minute and five seconds. Good luck. Cooperate, Mr. Salmon. Nick needs all the help he can get. All right, Andy, am I good to go? On my count. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. One minute, exactly. <laughs> Curtis, today you're serving as the independent witness and I have verified that you are indeed a fishmonger. The rules for this record are as follows. There must be a minimum number of 15 fillets and each portion must be at least 40 grams. Okay, let's see what we got. 120, 113, 127, 146, 124, 69. Why are you guys pointing? 120, 140, and the bonus portion, number 16, weighs 144. We're in business. Good job, Nick. Nick, you've just completed an official Guinness World Records attempt for the fastest time to fillet a 10 pound fish. We've had the fishmongers present and we've confirmed that you've made at least 15 portions of at least 40 grams each. Now, as you know, the current record stands at one minute and five seconds set by Gordon Ramsay. Nick, Today you achieved one minute, 0 0.29 seconds. Congratulations, it's a new Guinness World Records title. Yo. F you, Gordon. Whoa. Another one for the record book. Nick, this is your fourth record. Congratulations, you're officially amazing. Great work today, fish. Now that we've finished filleting our salmon, it's time to get going with the main event. Linja, where'd you get those chopsticks? What? We're making a big sushi roll. In front of us is our giant seven foot sushi mold. The first step is to toss on our booties. Because we're gonna have to be walking inside this thing. What are those? We'll start by layering in our 500 pounds of cucumbers. Given how big this sushi roll is, we can keep these babies whole. We needed a lot of helpers for this. So we've got the whole team in town today. This is the most cucumbers I've ever seen in my life. The forces on the sushi are gonna be so extreme. We're gonna have to put rice around the side to lock everything in. So should we be putting rice around it right now first? Yeah, I think that makes better sense. Okay, and what would happen if we just filled too much of one side and didn't do the other. The whole mold could fall over or burst or any number of bad things could happen. If that happens, Manny's getting fired today. I know that much. What? So to start out, we're gonna put some rice all around the edges to sort of give a nice foundation around the ring that's in the middle here. I'm adding a little bit of vinegar and oil to this, which will not only make the rice taste better, but it'll also help us to fluff it up a little bit more. Nick, don't spoil on Linja. 
Where I'm standing right now is where all the sushi grade salmon is eventually gonna go. All those boxes behind me, that's all sushi grade salmon. And that's not even all of it. Once again, we have 2,000 pounds of rice here today. That's probably more rice than a sushi restaurant would need for the entire week. At this point, we'll begin taking our first fillets of fish and look at how beautiful those are. These, I'm gonna carefully layer all the way around the center of our mold until we have all 500 pounds of it. The one thing I'm learning about some of these world records now is that it often turns out to be more of a workout than anything else. Don't be such a baby, Nick. Get a bright band -aid. That's right. How much money do you think it'd take? 500? 500 bucks? You think he's gonna do it for that? Nick, Linja, you guys are off to a great start. You've got the nori, you got two fillings, and you have the cold vinegar dressed rice. Well seasoned too. Compliments to the chef. So all the cooking equipment was sanitized in accordance with the 2013 food code. Samples were taken of the rice uh, as far as acidity is concerned and the pH is 4.0. Sushi grade salmon was frozen to minus 31 degrees for a minimum of 15 hours. So we're good. Damn, I'm really hungry. As you can see, our sushi roll here is starting to take fantastic shape. The whole first layer is all set. We've got our rice, our nori, our cucumbers, our salmon, and we're continuing to season all the rice and fluff it up so that we can make sure it's nice and light, the same way you'd have in a normal sushi roll. You gotta massage that rice. Andy, this is looking pretty cool. What are some of the coolest food records you've ever judged? Well, of course, this one and the most fast food restaurants visit in 24 hours. Naturally. Are some of my favorites. I've also seen the longest charcuterie board and the longest marathon cooking. How long was it? I believe he cooked for 48 straight hours. Oh my God. Keep in mind that if you subscribe, I'm going to choose three random subscribers when we hit 10 million and you'll be a part of that video and be on the next Guinness World Record title. And we'll fly you in from anywhere in the world. I want three of you to break a Guinness World Record with me. After a little lunch break where we had some chipotle, we're back to layering all of our rice. The salmon is dangerously close to the top at this point, as are the cucumbers. So now it's all about just finishing strong and shaping this into a full mega sushi roll. This thing is getting so big at this point that we're just gonna go around the whole thing with some tape to really reinforce it and make sure that the thing doesn't split right open, pouring all this sushi rice, salmon, and cucumbers all over the floor. Emergency, emergency, we've run out of rice vinegar. What? Not to fear, we're gonna make some more. Start with a whole bottle of rice vinegar. Wow, this is slow. Gosh darn it. A nice pinch of salt. Osmo, of course. And then a bunch of sugar. And maybe a little bit more. Maybe we ought to supersize this thing. And then we have to heat it to dissolve the sugar. If you haven't liked the video, we got a problem. And subscribe! Time to pour our new rice wine vinegar solution back into the bottles and send Linja on her way. Thank you, Nick. What's hot? Gotta keep the rice moist. We're at the home stretch here, trying to fluff up all the rest of this rice to make it fit evenly around the fish and the cucumbers. But one of the biggest challenges of today is gonna be pulling this middle ring mold out. Our hope is that it all stays in place to make a perfect sushi roll, but anything could happen. Oh, and here's the last tub of rice. My back is really starting to hurt from carrying the team all day. How's it looking, guys? It looks amazing. But it's not yet officially amazing. Oh, come on, Andy. Now that we've finished building our sushi roll, the next step is to take the center portion out. That's gonna be tough. Our best idea is to take a knife and shove some holes through the side, which hopefully we can use as handles to pull it all out. It's definitely gonna be hard to pull. I'm gonna go all around the side of the mold, making a few of these handles, and then it's gonna be a big team effort. All right, we're all gonna pull together on three, two, one, pull. Whoa! That's amazing! Wow. Look how clean the edges are. Engineered to perfection. Let's give a quick cross to the engineer. Oh shit, Nick, I wasn't filming. To finish things off, we're gonna layer these cucumbers all the way around to make a nice pretty pattern on the top. This thing's gotta look as good as it's gonna taste. Before Andy comes in to judge, regardless of whether or not we get this record today, just take a look at how truly massive this sushi roll is. You could fit a hundred ninjas in this thing. Today you guys have just completed an official Guinness World Records attempt for the largest sushi roll by width. I've looked at this very beautiful roll and I've verified that you guys have used cold vinegar dressed rice, nori seaweed sheets, and at least two fillings. And it is a scaled up version of a single piece of a traditional sushi roll. Now the record to beat was two meters, which is roughly six feet, 6.74 inches. I'm measuring to see the diameter of the sushi roll at its widest point across. Today you guys achieved seven feet, one inch. Congratulations, you're officially amazing.
Benja, Nick, this is your fourth and fifth Guinness World Records titles, and I cannot wait to see what records you break next. One more time, don't forget to subscribe. Three of you could be on this record title next. This entire sushi roll will now be picked up by my teammates at FarmLink and donated to a homeless shelter in Boston. None of this food will go to waste.